share with you. We'll be running these some servers here for a while over our, our summer in this region, in this environment, so now I have a little bit more experience about the thermal conditions we just live in. So um, what I've done is I've done the fan already presented when I installed the system. So this has been in use, it's been very effective. What I did is I removed all the cardboard um, cardboard uh, plastic holders that I have here and replaced it with this leftover 3D multicolor 3D printing box. So I get good separation and in between them and there's no extra insulation from the cardboard. And there has been thermal shutdowns and I lost one hard drive because I let it to go to a little bit too extreme. So um, I made a little cheat sheet here in this environment that we are in. So, um, so this is when you have like more or less sunny conditions outside and it's summer conditions in our region. So um, if it's 20 Celsius uh, outside uh, ambient, even with this, if there's a, like the sun is shining and it's 20 Celsius, then um, then I can run both of these servers inside here without, without problems. Um, if it's between 20 Celsius and 25, uh, then I can run um, one of them reliably. So I just switch one off and have one on it with the, with the fan on. So if it's 20 or less, then I actually don't need this. It's fine. Um, if it's over 25 Celsius outside, and the temperature inside starts to get to like 39. <laughs> so be, if you let it just be. So then, um, then I get emergency thermal shutdowns <clears throat> on one of the server. And one of the server tries to continue actually a little bit too. The, the thermal limits on, on, on the other server are, are set to be a little bit too high. So that was the server where actually one of the hard drives failed instead. But I have spare hard drives. So. Of course, this being used equipment, I can't really, it's not 100% sure that it failed due to thermal reason. It could have been a, a hard drive failed for other reasons. But I mean, it was extremely hot in here. So uh, uh, I, I put it down to the thermal condition. Um, so, better server separation. Have the fan. And then have these temperature limits. And I did do one improvement to this environment, so let's have a look at that. So anyway, um, I installed a fan, an extractor fan, up here in the corner where, where basically heat rises, so you get it. And, um, so you get all the really hot air that will, will be around this area here. So I put a fan in the side. And, um, you know, this, in, this, this place has incoming um, air vents all along the top and uh, they have the same on the other side so um, uh, so when I installed this I I can draw down the temperature here into a little bit closer to um, ambient so I can't I probably I, I have still been turning the servers off when, when the ambient temperature goes to 25 plus but for the other temperatures I can I can continue running um, both servers so that extends, like the, in our case, the springtime, and in the you know coming into the fall, like from the summer. So, so there's going to be a period still where I have to turn the servers off to be rational. But um, at least uh, I, I think this is really good. I didn't make a video or anything about how to install this. This is very unique for this specific um, location. But I had to 3D print holding brackets because this is basically a a fan you use for an attic, which is supposed to go through a thick insulated wall. So this, this is just tin here, so it's one millimeter you know, sheet metal. So I have to make special, a special holder for it. And now this is manual control, so... So now I plug it in. Um, it has quite a good air volume flow, and if it's running for hours on end, it actually does ex uh, uh, exhaust quite a lot of extra uh, heat. And you can feel it if you feel it from the outside. Uh, the, the air temperature is much higher than the ambient, so it, it's doing its job. So, 
But this, this I can recommend home. Not, not a solution for the whole year in our case, but uh, at least for, for quite a bit of it. So anyway, I was thinking um, for the future plans over, the, over our winter, um, coming into next summer, I'd like to actually introduce some... Um, I mean, these have ILO, so you can remotely go into these servers and get temperature readings, but I'd like to have more general temperature readings. So I'd like to, for example, have the temperature read from the, what's the ambient temperature outside, what's the uh, average um, exhaust, what's the average intake temperature for both servers, so, like this environment. And then I was thinking I would like to have some automatic control over both this fan the table fan and then the extractor fan for the for this area so they would because now it's manual control so I can act, they would switch on and off automatically and then I would also like to connect to these servers they have a serial uh, manage serial management port or you can do it over the network and you can um, request the server to go to sleep or shut itself down if the temperature you know based on certain temperature limits so I thought we could yeah I can't promise when when that, those initiatives will be done, but over the coming sort of, you know, we have like eight months until the summer comes around again. We'll hopefully, be able to um, get it done. Is there anything else on the list? No, that was pretty much it. So I hope you found this interesting. And if you did, um, consider pressing the like button. Uh, you can also subscribe if you'd like to follow up on projects that I do. And um, merch is available. Or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, that's also appreciated. The links are in the description. All the funds will go to improving the um, channel and ah, making projects. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.